So I finally made the Mandelbrot set. It just took around uh, an entire day of debugging and working with GLSL, but I managed to get working. And as you can see here, we get just a standard Mandelbrot set. You've probably seen it like a million times. That's not really the point of the video, although it is really freaking cool. Uh, don't mind the activate Windows logo. Is just I did pay for Windows, okay? I did pay for Windows, but when I changed out my motherboard, Windows decided to... Uh, I don't know, it just didn't like that, so <laughs> I lost Windows. I'm not paying for Windows twice, okay? That's a fucking scam right there. I'm not paying for Windows twice. Okay, anyways, uh, what I'm interested in is just changing some of the values or playing around with other fractals. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so first, let me just change the seed values. So as you know, in the Mandelbrot set, it starts out at Z0 equals 0. But what happens if you do like Z0 equals 0 0.1? Well, then you get this business which is uh i mean i don't it kind of reminds me of the julia sets uh, if you guys don't know the if you guys don't know the julia sets are these uh they related to the Mandelbrot set there's the same equations but uh they're not that is they're not that interesting because they kind of just repeat infinitely and you can see these sections sort of repeat infinitely as well so yeah it's very interesting uh this is what happens if i do an imaginary seed as well a little bit of an offshoot what you get is just pretty much the same thing. It's like little bite marks being taken out of the Mandelbrot set. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just do the third order Mandelbrot set, or whatever you call it, the third degree. So it's going to be Z cubed instead of Z squared. And what you get is something very interesting and very similar to the Mandelbrot set. As you can see, you get these recurring blob patterns everywhere. The same thing, instead of the Mandelbrot shape, you get these other shapes. As you can see, this is what happens if I do a different seed value. It's just like little bite marks being taken out of it. So that's that's interesting. Okay, so next one, I wanted to try this exponential equation. So if, what happens if I just reiterate an exponential function? Uh, what you get is something actually pretty interesting. It doesn't really... There's like a big black wall here. And uh, just a very, very weird peculiar fractal. But it is very interesting. Okay, next one, I'm going to do the burning ship. So it's just these equations. It's really similar to the Mandelbrot equations. It's just you're uh, just absoluting the values before you square them. And apparently that makes a big difference. As you can see here, uh, it's strange. It's interesting, peculiar. Uh, moving on to the next one. This is what happens if I just add Z into the Mandelbrot set equations. Uh, it's like giant chunks being taken out of the Mandelbrot set. Uh, same thing, pretty much. Very interesting. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. It's just a bunch of bunch of fractals, just a bunch of fractals.